Hello, in this Excel video tutorial, we're going to consider the fourth and the final tips and tricks that is associated with the advanced filter in Excel. So let's get started. In the previous video, we look at how to filter by the month section of a date value. Also, we considered how to perform partial match type and also how to reorder our columns based on the filtered result. And I'm going to very quickly go through all the three examples and fix the little error we had in the previous video. If you remember, we have this drop down that is of January to December. So for the month criteria, we put in month function and we reference the value in cell A1, close the parentheses, equal sign. I want to check whether is it equal to the selected month number in cell Q1 and then we make it to the absolute control enter okay now we have january here and this is seventh representing july so it gave us false now let's quickly run through the advanced filter so i'm going to click on advanced and for the action click on copy to another location and this is our list range the main data set and the criteria is going to be we select this first and then we want to copy to this location this labels here so we click okay and that is it we have all the month of july filtered okay now for the second example we considered how to perform the partial matching so for that we said we want to filter the payment column that contains money and for that we're going to put in inside cell n2 the asterisk sign and then we we'll type in money okay and then under asterisk sign Control enter click on advance and copy to another location now we have two criteria so i'm going to expand to include this payment okay and that is all when i click ok now we can see that we have all the month of july and also we have all the payment that contains money okay we have the money gram the perfect money and the web money and the third thing we consider is how to reorder our columns based on our filtered data set. And I did something like this. Okay, let me just transpose this total to this section and we move this date to column K. So let's do that quickly. Total. And then we have the it region. And I'm going to call this one brand. Okay. Now, all I need to do is just run the advanced filter copy to another location and we click ok can you see that we have reordered the columns however as i said this is actually a filtered list so let's count how many we have how many records we have count of 170 however the main data set is actually longer okay we have 4741 rows including the labels at the top okay but when we apply the reordering we only had um, how many we have um, 170 rows but what we want to do is actually slightly different okay now we do not want to filter using any criteria we just want to order our column so that we're going to have exactly the total number of rows we have here which is 4741 okay so we do not want to apply any criteria so what i'm going to do is very simple we're still going to maintain the same number of columns that we have the order the key we have the total region payment brand and date but we want all the record all of them just like we had the simple just click on the advanced filter again now click on copy to another location but the trick here is that we're going to delete this criteria range okay so i do not want anything i just want the list range the entire data set and the copy tool so it's going to copy everything we have here from the top to the bottom so we're going to copy to this reordered columns and that is all when i click ok so let's check it out can you see we have exactly the same number of data set okay we have 4741 and we have 4741 so the last date is actually 24th of january to have the same thing so this is absolutely amazing so this is essentially how we reorder columns without applying any criteria so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and consider subscribing to the channel 
Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.